Today I'm going to show you how to make a watermark because you asked me to. I say because you asked me to because I'm not a huge fan of watermarking my pictures to be quite honest. I know you should, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I'm not really good about staying consistent, but somebody asked me and I didn't have a video on it and so I want to give you what you want. I'm going to make a video and show you how to use a watermark. But before we get into that, it's important that you remember about Wednesday because Wednesday we're going to do our first photo of the week and to participate, all you have to do is follow us on Instagram at Photo Nerds Unite and hashtag your pictures with PNFL. The other thing I want to talk about is today's poll because today is Monday and that's what we do on Mondays. We do a quick little poll. It's a way for me to get to know you, you to get to know me, you know, all that good stuff. So today's poll is, do you like to shoot wide angle, kind of that middle of the road, or do you like telephoto lenses? For me, I love telephoto lenses because it helps me kind of focus on something particular. And then as I get comfortable with the lay of the land, I sort of start to work my way out into that wide angle lens. But I usually start with telephoto lenses and I like to shoot on telephoto most of the time. So tell us what you like in the card right here. Now back to watermarking. How do you add a watermark to your picture? Well, it's really easy to do. All you have to do inside of Lightroom is go to export. And when we get here, we're going to have some options. And the option that we want is this watermarking section right here. So we're going to go under the drop down menu and edit our watermarks because right now we don't have a watermark. And we're going to look here first in the upper right hand corner and you'll see there's a watermark style. You basically have two styles. You have text and you have a graphic. A graphic is like a logo, whether you've designed it yourself or had someone design it, something like that, you have the option. So we're going to start with the logo first, just because I think it's a little bit easier. We're going to go to graphic. It's going to ask us to choose that graphic, which I have here. And then I'm going to hit choose. Now, when you add a graphic, you really only have this bottom section to work with the watermark effects. The watermark effects will let you do a few things. You can change the opacity or whether or not your graphic is see-through or not, or what level of see-through it is. I'm going to just put it at 70%. You also have how you want to size your watermark, whether you want to fit it to your picture, which I don't recommend. You can put it as fill, which I, also don't recommend. I think size proportional makes the most sense. And the reason for this is because as your file size gets bigger or smaller, you're going to want to be able to choose what your file looks like on the picture. And you want it to be proportional. As your picture gets bigger, the watermark will get bigger. As your picture gets smaller, the watermark will get smaller. So it'll always look the same no matter what size your picture is. So I'm going to leave mine at 10 and I'm going to put it at the bottom middle, which is what my anchor points allow you to do. If I wanted it to like be middle, middle, I just click the middle bubble. If I want it to be upper left, I just click that bubble, but I like it in the bottom middle. That seems to be the going trend these days, I think. And I want a little bit of a border. In other words, I don't want my logo to be right at the edge of the file. I kind of want there to be a little bit of space. So I'm going to just put two pixels as my space and that looks pretty good. Now, the last and final thing to do is to save this file. So I'm going to go up to the upper left hand corner this time, save current settings as a new preset. And we're going to just say logo white because this is the white version and hit create. Now, all you have to do is hit done and then hit export. And when I do, it's going to ask me, where do I want to save it? And I'll say, just put it on the desktop. Where else are you going to put it? And if I head on over to the desktop, here's my file with my logo uh, watermark on there. Let's go back to Lightroom real quick. Let's go back to export. Let's go back to watermark settings or edit watermark. And let's talk about that text. If you were going to do a dark watermark, by the way, um, you just repeat the process that we just did, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go over to text and you're going to see here that the watermark logo that I had ch just changes to a text type. So if you're someone who has not designed a watermark or a logo or something like that, 
don't worry about it. You can just use text right here. And what's great about this is you can choose whatever font style you want. I don't even know what Onyx looks like, but I'll go with it. You can choose whether you want it to be centered. You could click color to change the color. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it at white. Um, you can add a shadow or not. I'm gonna turn that off. And then the same watermark effects that you had on the logo you have here for the text. So I can leave the opacity at 70%. I can leave the size proportional the way I want, and I can have it anchored at the bottom, just like I did before. So I'm gonna just do all of that. And then again, if I wanted this, I would just go up to the upper left and save this as a setting. But since I don't use text, I'm not gonna save it. You kind of get the point, you know how to go ahead and do it. So my last word of advice is no matter what watermark you create, make sure you have a white one and make sure you have a black one because depending on the photograph is gonna dictate whether you need a light one or a dark one. And then as far as where you use a watermark or to not use a watermark is really to your discretion. Um, my job is to show you kind of how to do it. If you guys really wanna know my true opinion of watermarking and where I use them, why I use them, that kind of stuff, go ahead and leave comments down below and I'll do a video just to talk about my theory or my thoughts on watermarking um, if there's enough participation. But other than that, I just wanted to show you how to do it. Now you know. So have a great day, everybody.